So in this game is a, an ace game and the first mark of excellence game in the, uh, the capture KV-1. Uh, so this is a, a dual trainer uh, for German and Soviet crews. So still definitely worth picking up even when you can transfer crews across nations for gold now. Um, but I think these, these dual trainers are still useful, especially when you're starting out and maybe not want to put too much gold into the game. Um, I think this tank is one of the probably the strongest tank at tier 5. Um, I think a lot of people would say the Panzer V4, but I think the Panzer V4, it's, um, you know, the turrets are really weak, uh, the penetration is quite bad, the damage is quite bad on the Panzer V4. It's just really mobile, um, can ram, and um, yeah, just, just bully sort of tier fours. So, but this one, it's got such a fast firing gun, and I've put the um, the advanced loader on it, so it really does even faster. Um, I think I've got the optics on it as well. Uh, but we're getting shot at um, by the hill, so just want to put some shots into it. So as you can see, the reload is just ridiculously fast. Um, essentially, it is sort of just a, a buffed KV-1. Um, so if you do like the KV-1 and you, you want to train some some crews, uh, yeah, go for it. This is a really good tank. Um, I think I would definitely recommend getting it if you are thinking about getting it. Um, if it's on a personal offer or deal of the week, then yeah, it's definitely worth it at half price. Um, I think I got mine on a, I think it was a sale on the actual PlayStation store. It wasn't in the in-game store. So that's how I got mine. It was half price on the PlayStation store. Just load the premium up uh, for the T14, but as you can see with the food pops, this is ridiculous. They're just putting shot after shot and uh, he got one, maybe two shots in. Um, yeah, so um, might not want to put the rammer on or the advanced loader, um, but you can just do this. It's just, it's yeah, it's just crazy. Um, when I started playing this game, there were lots of capture KV ones around. And it was always one of those tanks where they like the Panzer V4 and to be honest the Bogotar as well or the KV-220-2 it's one of those that you really want to have a go in um, because they just seem to be so powerful but um, this one definitely um, lives up to that um, Panzer V4 it's not as manoeuvrable as I thought it was going to be uh, and the I, I have got the KV 222 now out of a out of a key card but um, yeah that's really really slow but this is just um, incredibly strong uh, I've got no issue just going over this whatever's there I'm not concerned <laughs> uh, I got the Matilda it's, yeah it's, it's not gonna last very long just holding just, just R1, R2 in and now at the moment. Um, unfortunately, the Allies take, gets the kill, but um, just going to carry on. They've got no artillery now, so that's the only real danger to, to this tank. Uh, but yeah, pop the food. Uh, not too sure if that's the big gun the, the Panzer IV H has got, but it doesn't really matter, to be honest. Yeah, it's um, as you can see, it's just it's just crazy. We're just angling slightly, um, just so they bounce. So still angled to it. Got the the hidden stug, which is a really good tank as well. Actually, I really enjoy the hidden. I just get the ram kill on it, uh, and now got the um, Panzer III K, uh, another tank I really like. Unfortunately, you get the uh, the engine knocked out and the Allied takes to kill. But um, yeah, 
absolutely ridiculous tank uh, at tier 5. Um, everyone moans about the Panzer 5 4, but I think it's really the capture KV 1. Um, get the 6 kills, most damage, most direct hits, 41 direct hits in a heavy tank. Get the most block damage as well. Ace tanker, top gun, uh, I think that's the steel wall, high caliber. And the first mark of excellence as well. So, um, yeah, just really good tank. Um, yeah, if, if you're wanting the, to, to get it, then yeah, just get it. <laughs> um, Panzer Fire 4 is a bit, um, I think that's what a lot of people go to when they just want to club seals, or, you know. But I think it's actually the, K, the, the Capture KV-1, which is the really strong one. So, um, you know, if you're just starting out, it's just got, you know, fairly bad German and Soviet crews. You want to get a, an effective trainer for both nations without having to spend the gold uh, to, to transfer the, the crews between nations. Then yeah, capture KV one is is definitely something to to pick up.